So the first thing that happens when you buy a cold air intake, you're given two options. You can go with a dry filter or you can go with an oil filter. What's the difference? A lot of people love dry filters because they think it's easy to maintain, they're convenient, you can just take them out, kick them a few times, run some water through it. But a lot of the old people, they swear by the oil filters because they have long life, they're exceptionally good at catching dirt, and they actually flow a little bit better. But what's the difference? One's red, one's black, a lot more than that. Let's get into it. So how do you know when it's time to service your filter? Sometimes it's super obvious. This one is real dirty and you can tell. Other people might say, check every 5,000 miles, 10,000 miles. But the easiest way, just check your filter every time you're in for an oil change. Now, depending on where you live and how you drive, your filter will get dirty faster or slower. If you're out on a farm or a ranch with a lot of fine dust in the air, your filter is going to get a lot dirtier a lot quicker. So we recommend you use one of our pre-filters. These go over and around your filter and they're very easy to clean. Just rip them off, throw them in the wash, and these can be used on an oiled or a dry filter. So this is our dirty oiled filter, but I'm going to show you how to clean both an oiled and a dry one. Let's go. So the first thing you're going to do when you're servicing your filter, you're going to find a hard surface. You're going to try to tap out as much dirt as you can out of these pleats. Now if you look at our dry filters, the pleats are a lot farther apart and easier to clean, but on an oil filter with the pleats so close, now if you had to, you could use a soft bristle brush to gently sweep out the debris, but be careful, you don't want to put more dirt inside your pleats. Now, the next thing is to get yourself a k and recharger kit. Now, the recharge kit has the exact kind of oil you would need for an oiled filter, but the cleaning solution that's inside works both on an oiled or a dry one. So, take your kit, take your filter, let's go clean it. After knocking out the loose debris, take your filter cleaner and spray your filter liberally. Saturate the outside and the inside of your filter. Allow the cleaner to soak in for about 8 to 10 minutes. But don't allow the cleaner to dry on the filter. Never use gasoline, steam, caustic solutions, strong detergents, cleaning solvents, or high pressure nozzles to clean the filter element. These can cause harm to the filter media as well as shrink and harden the polyurethane end caps. Using a low pressure water source, rinse from the inside outward. Rinsing from the inside out helps push particles out of the filter media. Rinsing from the outside in lodges debris deeper within the filter, which is bad. Rinse until the water runs clear through the filter. You can wash the oiled and dry filter this way. You can always repeat the process until your filter looks grit and dirt free. So once you're confident you've gotten all of your cleaning solution out and you've gotten all the water out from the pleats, the best idea is to put this out into the sun to dry. You cannot rush this process. If you try another technique, like say a hair dryer for instance, you could potentially damage the filter itself. And if it takes way too long to dry in one day, just buy a second filter. That way you have one on hand when you need it, and you'll let your old one dry off in the sun. A lot of people are intimidated about oiling their air filters because they think they're going to put too much oil, too little oil. Well, the truth of the matter is that it's really easy to do, and I'm going to show you. So because um, every filter is basically a different size, a different pleat count, a different height, we came up with Banks re-oiling calculator. I am going to show you how this works. So uh, first off, we have to look at the, we have to do the pleat depth. So to do the pleat depth, you can use a piece of paper or a business card or something. And you go in the pleat and you put it all the way in and then you mark it so that you have from the outside to the inside. Now you have the pleat depth. So we're going to put the pleat depth in here. And then you need to look at what's the exposed pleat height. So we are going to measure the pleat height and then the pleat height from here to here and it's 9.75. So we got 9.75 inch of exposed pleats. And then we need to do the pleat count. We need to count the pleats. So to do that, we're going to locate the clip because that's your reference. That will be your zero. And all right, so we have 60 pleats on this filter. All right, so the amount of oil needed for this filter is 
ounces, uh, almost five ounces, or 138 grams. So in order for us to do this, um, we are going to use the KNN oil. And uh, oh, very conveniently, it has the marking on the side of the bottle. So now it is time to actually oil the air filter. So for this, we will use the KNN oil. So on the KNN bottle, it's very uh, user friendly. You actually have the ounces there. So for our uh, 4.88, it's almost uh, five ounces. So we will eyeball the uh, quantity of oil we are going to put there. And if anything, you want to be on the conservative side. You do not want to over oil your filter. And also what you can do instead of using this, you can just pour it into a, um, a glass measuring cup, like a Pyrex that has the lines on it. And then you know exactly what you have, what you did. All right, when it comes to uh, oiling the air filter, there are many companies out there that tell you to oil the filter in every which way. The fact of the matter is that the material itself is very forgiving. You can pretty much oil it any which way and it will even out just perfectly. So some of the companies, you, there are people that are showing you that you can oil your filter like this and it's going to take forever pretty much. And you can see already it's wicking or you can oil it like this. I mean, obviously, you don't want to put all the oil in one place. So we recommend to just go around, go one first round, and put some oil as evenly as you can around the air filter. And then when we are going to get near the end, we will just check that we have put the amount that's the closest to the mark on the bottle. We have to do. 4.88 ounces, but if we do 4.7 or 4.6, it's, it's good. We, we are better off having less than having too much. I mean, look already how much has wicked out of how it's wicked. So as long as it's evenly distributed, the oil will absolutely wick perfectly. And then we keep on checking because we do not want to over oil. If anything, it's better to under oil, even by like 20%, it's not gonna be a problem. All right, so once we are finished with oiling the filter, we just let, have to let it settle so that the oil homogeneously wicks everywhere. Um, and within half an hour, it's going to be ready to go. All right, so now this uh, filter has been oiled, and you must have noticed that I was only oiling the filter from the outside, because you should not oil on the inside of the filter. You're, you're gonna drop some oil on the, on the lid. You don't want to do that. You want to oil from the outside, and everything will wick from outside in, which is already uh, something that has already happened. When it comes to the wicking on your oiled air filter, of course, you could wait 24 hours, you could wait six hours, but four hours is plenty of time that to allow uh, good wicking on your oil throughout across all the pleats. Of course, after four hours, which is what we recommend, you will have a perfectly homogeneous wicking of the oil throughout the filtering media. So on this air filter, I'm going to only oil a ring around the air filter, and then we will show you how it wicks out evenly. I guess if you were to do it this way, you're gonna have to wait like 24 hours for it to properly wick. But in 24 hours, for sure, it will be perfect. So I'm going to show you how that happens. So now I'm saturating the air filter at the very top. It will homogeneously wick down to the bottom. And this is the exact amount of oil. Uh, before we started, we checked that this filter needs exactly the second half of what the bottle has in there. All right, so now we're gonna set the filter this way and you're going to see the wicking happen over a time-lapse video. All 
For more information, visit bankspower.com slash reoilcalculator where you can find the exact amount of oil you will need for your filter.